Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the numeric data types in uh, PostgreSQL. So we will be talking about uh, data types such as uh, integer, numeric data type, real data type and uh, serial data type. So um, I will mention the storage size, the description and the range of each and every data type in detail in the description given below. So you could check it there. So first of all, uh, we're going to speak about uh, the small int that is the integer data type. So small int uh, can have a value of uh, minus uh, 3 to uh, 767 to 32,767 and it can store two bytes of data. So first I'm going to tell you how to declare a small int. So first of all, we're going to make a uh, you can see that uh, we have a table. So I will make one other table and uh, I will give it uh, test table you could say and I will add uh, two columns here that will be a uh, primary key that is pry and I will give it a privilege of uh, primary key at earlier stage data type would be integer data type normal and uh, next I will uh, build another column for our uh, testing that is testing and data type would vary first of all you can see that uh, I will add a small int so you could see that small int and when you click OK at the small int you would see that a small int has been created now I would be adding the primary key for this for that you can add constraints add columns you could go and add the uh, pry as the primary key and now I could add results here so you would see uh, one and if this is a small int number this has to be in a range of uh, 32,767 so first of all I will enter 32767 that is the maximum range it will enter now if I enter 8 you would see that it gives me an error that it is out of range for small int so the next type will be the interior data type that can have value up to 2 billion so um, I will mention the range given below and uh, I will tell you how to declare it. So as you could see I have uh, a data of small int data type of testing table. Now I will change it to integer data type. So you could just write integer. So with integer we have a range up to 2 billion. You will just see it now. And if you see that you will click on 2 and you will enter uh, integer. So the range would be uh, 2, 1. 4, 7, 4, 8, 3, 6, 4, 7. So this is the range. This is the maximum range. Now if I put 8, you would see that it is out of range. So this is the use of uh, interior data type in our column. So next you could be uh, using the big int if you want even bigger data type. That would be uh, till 9 quintillion. So you could use uh, big, in, big int in that case. So uh, in the next uh, next thing that we're going to talk about is the numeric data type. So it has variable size and uh, it is used to store uh, decimal values such as the price. So I will tell you how to declare a uh, numeric data type. So, uh, so now as you could see that uh, I will be putting this as the numeric data type. You could put numeric and you will click on OK. So it has created a numeric data type. Now to enter values, you would see that uh, I can put anything such as uh, 45 point uh, something something. So this will store the price data type, or you can store 45.9 with any decimal precision. So this is the use of numeric data type. So uh, next we will speak about the real data type that has uh, four bytes of data and it can store uh, decimals up to four digits of uh, dec decimal places. So you could also use double precision that will be 8 bytes and it has a 15 decimal precision. I will just show you how to make that kind of uh, a data type. So now we have numeric data type. Now I will change it to real data type and you could see uh, that real data type gives me a provision to store data up to four, 4 decimal places or a precision of 4 decimal places. So you could see that I will enter anything. There is 3 and uh, I will enter 46, 45 point uh, a number that is greater than 4. So you can see it stores now. 
and you could see that it gives me a four decimal pre precision automatically so this is the use of the real if you want uh, it to be a bigger number or you want uh, more decimal precision than that you could just uh, add it as uh, double precision here it is so this will give you precision up to 15 decimal places and lastly we'll be talking about the serial data type so uh, first of all we'll talk about the small serial data type which is of two bytes and the range is small and the range is of uh, 32,767 as that of the small in data type so the role of a serial data type is to be basically automatically increment itself so you will just see it if I use small serial and I click on OK so you would see that this will increment itself automatically and uh, I could just enter my values here and you could see it is automatically incrementing 1 2 3 and if I put anything such as 9 it will automatically increment as 4 then I put anything as 27 it will automatically increment and automatic increment so this is the use of the serial data type so from the from this tutorial onwards you will uh, know the actual power of PostgreSQL and uh, what it is capable of so you could also use the serial data type and the big serial data type of 4 and 8 bytes respectively and the range of them are uh, of that uh, integer and uh, big integer respectively so you could see um, you could just enter properties and you could just uh, the serial here to get the serial data type and if you want the big serial you can just click on the big serial so thank you for watching this tutorial guys next in the next tutorial i'll talk about the enumeration data type in postgresql don't forget to subscribe and uh, stay tuned